Yes, sir. You already know this. Your boy B Hayes. We back with another one. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. You know, we won't like to waste nobody's time. Before we do that, let's give this video a thumbs up so it can reach more people. Today, we'll be touching bases on Doge. So, I know y'all already going crazy running around the house like, oh no, the, the market is dropping. The market is dropping. Crypto is dropping. When crypto is dropping like this, the stock market is about to go green. But the crypto market is just temporary right now. I told y'all. I've been explaining to y'all over and over again that the market is due for a pullback, the crypto market, because Bitcoin is three times above its all-time high of 20K that it reached in 2018, more than two and a half times that value now at 50K. But now that it's dropping, it's been a, a little less. So anyways, you get the point. It's way, way, way above its previous all-time high. So it most definitely is due for correction. And when Bitcoin is king, when it pulls back, the whole crypto will pull back. Litecoin, Ethereum, Ripple, uh, Doge, everybody is going to pull back. So with that being said, that's why Doge is falling down. That's why Doge is pulling back. So it's just temporary. This is buying opportunity. I told y'all earlier in the Doge video that we had support at 22 cents. As soon as we break that support, this thing gonna fall straight to around 16, 17 cent range. We came all the way down to right here around 14 cents. That was a load up buy zone opportunity. I hope y'all was able to load the boat. If I had more cash, I'm waiting on my cash to get in now. And I hope there are even more buy opportunities. Y'all freaking out. And if you freaking out, you know why? I'm going to put y'all up on game. If you're freaking out right now because Doge and Bitcoin and all this stuff is dropping, that's because you have too much skin in the game. If you got too much skin in the game, you got too much funds, too much money in the game. That means your rent money, your light money, money you can't lose is on the line. You panicking. What is you panicking for? For smart money, people that understand the market, that's in you know what I've been preaching to y'all, letting y'all know you want to smarten up. Nobody is panicking. We're using all these opportunities right now as load-up zone, buy zone, to add on to our assets. We're using these, these panic sellers. We're using this opportunity to build up, to build our portfolios up. So I just want y'all to know, give y'all that game real quick. But nobody, we're not panicking. We happy that this thing is pulling back. Hopefully, Dogecoin can pull back even lower. I'm sorry to say that, y'all, but I'm just being honest. You shouldn't have that much skin in the game to something like this if you're scared and nervous right now. And if you is too scared and nervous, I've been told y'all to take profits as well. Not trying to sound harsh. I'm just keeping it real with y'all because I told y'all if y'all had thousands of dollars on Dogecoin, a lot of money, and you made thousands of dollars, 100000 50000 a million, you made a lot of money like that, you supposed to sold, sold that and bought back in on the deals because that was life changing money. But I said, if you had petty money on Doge, like how we was thinking when Doge first came out about if you had just a hundred dollars on Doge, ten dollars, twenty dollars, a thousand dollars. Well, if you had a thousand dollars back when it was just one cent, then yeah, you should have been selling too, especially if you ain't never seen that kind of money before. But y'all get the point. Not going to go too much in detail with that. Everybody, different situations. But you know if that was life-changing money, you never seen nothing like that, you should have been selling. So anyways, back to it though, y'all. Doge will go back up though. This is just a temporary little pullback because it done ran up so much, guys. So don't panic out. Don't be scared. Everything is going to be good. And like I said, uh, we got a nice... A uh, gap. We got this gap field that we have to fill as well. When we pull back, when we pull back right here to this 18 cents, once we pull 18, pull back and broke 22 cents, and we got 18 cents, do we got a gap field all the way down to 12 cents? Cause this thing stopped out at like around 13 cents. As a matter of fact, it pulled back to like what? Hold on, guys. It pulled back to 13.9. This thing could potentially pull back again, and when it pulled back, we could see around 12 cents. So be careful because it spiked up quickly. That's how you know P 
people is going to buy up the dips, guys. As soon as it pulled back to 13.9, 14 cents, this thing spiked right back up to 21, 22 cents, and it's probably going to pull back down because it got a gap field to field towards 12 cents. And then from there, we could rip back up, guys. And then if we come lower under that 12 cents, we could potentially see 9 cents. So just use all that as dip opportunity, load the boat, and this is not financial advice. You already know. Just letting y'all know what I'm doing. If you like these type of updates, these type of predictions, all that good stuff, consider joining the family. This your boy Behaves. We out. I love y'all. God bless.